thoughts are, um, I think that the U.S. needs to step in and um, absolutely support France no matter what. And literally, the fact that these people are tweeting uh, what they have done to France and they're praising each other makes me feel like the U.S. needs to take the CIA and step in. How can they tweet? How can they tweet? Seriously? They're allowed to do this and we can't find their IP address and, and find these people and arrest them? Bullshit. Total bullshit. I am a Christian. I love the Lord. And you know what? I'm not afraid of these people. They can do whatever they want to me, but I will never claim jihad as, as whatever they're trying to, to claim. And jihad, John, he's going down. That bitch is going down. Obvious that they, I don't want to like say ignorant, but just straight ignorant. There's no point to take someone else's life. They're not going to get your point across. You just become the bad person. And you've pissed everybody off. Yeah. And it's like she said, you're not going to get your point across. You're just making people mad. And people eventually are going to find you. We and hope. <laughs> no one's going to care if you're right or wrong, whatever you're saying, because you taken into somebody's life that had nothing to do with whatever you had wanted to say. There's just people trying to go to a concert or walk down the street and take their life. That's ridiculous. That doesn't help you in any way. That doesn't help anybody. I, I think it's very obviously very tragic. You know, I feel uh, just so sad for the, for the people that, that were that were murdered. And uh, it makes me scared. Yeah, I think it's World War. And I think if this happened today when we're having NFL games all over this country and it happened in five NFL stadiums, think about our life there. Think about that. Just think about that. Something needs to be done. Yeah, it can't keep going on. To stop ISIS and whatever and... I'm not going to say any more about what's yeah. in Washington, but... Somebody needs to wake up. Hard of it. Realize that we're born. And, 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 and they did all these attacks based off religion. Yeah. And you saw yes. your government protecting you, but I went to the LSU last game last night, and the Saints played today, not here, but if somebody walked in that stadium with five bombs, different world living in. Yes. And it can happen. It's everywhere. It's got to stop. Now, do you guys know that on that same day there were also attacks in two other countries, and they no. did not publicize it? No, no. Where? Because they were in Africa, two different countries in Africa. Yeah. Okay. And they did not focus media attention on it because they are not part of the Axis yeah. Ally company. Are you really military? Yes. Yeah. I'm told Excellent that you guys theory. can wipe them out in one day. <laughs> I want you to do that. What? <laughs> don't it's... want you to get hurt, but I want to do what we can do. I agree. It's my personal opinion. I didn't really see a point in it. You know, just being that my family's been in the military for so long, I'm a third generation. It's really pointless. Pointless life taking has no meaning. So even if you felt like, oh, well, this is how I was going to be, this is how I'm going to get attention, it's, it's totally unnecessary because there's several means of getting your voice heard. But taking lives is, in my opinion, just not the way I go about it. And it's, you know, it's horrible, especially in a place, in a place that's known to be the city of love. Like you bring in, you know, you bring in death and murder to a place where, you know, people go to have like their vows renewed and, you know, family vacations, you know, a time, a peaceful place where it's beautiful and you see the scenery. But, you know, once you painted blood on that, like your hands are forever tainted. And I mean, that's really, that's really my take on it. Yeah, so, um, well, the responsible of this was ISIS. So, right now, 
they have the weight of hate of the world they have so there's a lot of people there's a lot of people that they they want to take them out they want and the more people that so the more people that got into that idea the better and if that happens stuff like this will happen again um, and it will happen sooner or later it will happen bad, bad guys never win it's been it's been proven through uh, history bad guys never win mention me one guy that is so bad and he wins even let's get it at a simple Pablo Escobar had all the money in the world. And he dead. He found Bin Laden. Dead. So if you if they think they're bad, like they're bad as they can do anything that they want. A lot of people versus this amount of people. It's over. In the name, and they're doing this all in the name of religion. Yeah, no, no, that's no, 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 part, no, that's no, 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 part of it. Okay. No, that's that's an excuse. I mean, that's even excuse. even in some religions, is you, you taking a life is that's a, one of the greatest sins that you can commit. Yeah, in in most religions. Well, I think, world. and in the religion life right. is the like was give meaning to all. Like, is the most precious precious thing in any religion. What, I think it is. It has to be that way. So why take it? Doesn't right. make sense. And now they they are threatening that this will continue. No, I I feel angry. I feel like something has to be done. And you know, it's just it's also it's not just Christians. It's a, it's any atheists, Catholics, and it, it, it just all religions. And it's just it's like some they're trying to push their beliefs down. It, and it's, it's and it's it's no different than Kim Davis. That's always either. Been, that's always been sort of the problem throughout history when you try to come into a new land that you feel like you've discovered and try to force your religion onto someone else's beliefs. It never turns out well. Christian crusades, Catholics, it, people, when you feel like you've been burdened by a religion, you run from it. You try to escape from that religion. And even in history, you see how the pilgrims tried to escape from where they were in their situation. And it continues. It's when you try to force people to what you want it to be, it causes turmoil. And once that turmoil is it's begun. So That's we could say the here. problem here is religion itself. Like, I don't want to go that way. Radical religion. Yeah, like, like see, they take know, it to the extreme. Right, yeah. I know, I know a lot of Muslims, and you know, even they're they're upset and they're against what's going on. So they don't have respect for other, other yeah, people. Like, like, yeah, when you're going radical to yeah. the point where. If you don't believe what I believe, I'm taking your life. That's, that's where wrong, things that's go wrong, wrong. That's wrong. That's wrong. Yeah, this that's it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. It's hurtful, especially when you feel like Come, it all comes down to equal rights. Right. You know, everyone deserves to be treated equally and to believe in believe what in what they want, be who they want to be. Right. Don't. It's not our job to judge others. Mm -hmm. That is only for those who are above us. Tragedy in Paris is horrible, but nobody else seems to be focusing on the fact that those countries that aren't allies to us, everybody's ignoring what really happened to them. And we're just focusing on the country that lost just over 200 people versus some of the other countries who lost a lot more amount of people. And it's really sad because, yes, Paris was there for us when 9-11 attacked, but at the same time, if we're going to be America and be the country that supports everybody else, I feel like we need to publicize not only where the not only where it's important, but also the other countries that suffered from the same crises. I think that's right. What do you think? It's a tragedy. It shouldn't have happened. And it's almost impossible to stop. For the simple fact that it's not one isolated country. It, it actually is just a group of people that just don't want to 
abide by the like the systems that are set in motion. But for the simple fact that like there is no one person or one group of people that you can target, there is there's no way to counteract this. It's almost sad because you can't stop it. It's just it's just a tragedy in itself because it will never stop. And it just almost seems like a waste of like human life for the simple fact that these people are fighting against their own human beings. Like genocide. It's genocide against your own against your own race. Period. Regardless yeah. of what color creed you are, it makes no fucking sense. Cause this is just some fucking old school testament fucking bullshit. It makes no fucking sense that you should have to fucking resort to destroying innocent lives over the fact that you don't believe in the same beliefs that these people have. So you're just gonna blow them up for fuck of it. It makes no fucking sense. It's really sad, really, honestly, but at the same time, we do need to focus that worldwide is having these problems, not just Paris. Just because no, Paris yeah. is one of our allies and one of the United States. No, yeah, because this shit happens everywhere. It does. It happens in the Middle East, it happens in, in Europe, it happens in the United States. The only difference is, is that when it happens in, in the Middle East, no one gives a goddamn. When it happens in, in Europe, it all of a sudden becomes a fucking problem. When it happens in the States, then all of a sudden it's a goddamn fucking Everybody's conundrum. Together. Everybody's ready to go to war, but who are you going to go to war for? Who go to war to? This isn't one isolated country. This is a group of organized people who don't give a goddamn where it happens, when it happens, and who it happens to, including if it happens to their own goddamn people. And that's the sad part. They don't give a damn if it happens to their own goddamn people. And it's not that they're, we're isolated to our own singular races. Everybody's the same. We're all human beings. This makes no goddamn sense. Just because you have your own beliefs and we have our own beliefs, this should not make any goddamn sense for you to just decide, like, all right, I'm just going to end a few hundred lives. Just, just for the fuck point. of it. Just to make a point that isn't going to get brought across anybody because all it looks like is just violence. Violence on top of more violence on top of more violence. You're not solving shit with this. At the end of the day, I see it as it's not just black lives that matter, white lives that matter, French lives. It's, no, it's every all life lives matter. matter. Every life deserves the same dignity yeah. class as like Including the person no that, it, like, fucking terrorist bombed the motherfucker. Like, yeah, you got fucking brainwashing and, and talked into, like, all right, yeah, you're gonna go to heaven with 50 fucking birds. Just to go blow up a whole, a whole fucking a shit, 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 shit load of people. For no apparent reason. That you don't have no fucking clue about. You don't know what these people, what these people's lives were, what they were dealing with, and it's just sad for the simple fact that you just follow blindly, blindly, with no kind of like idea of what actually you're doing. It's it's just ignorant. It's as ignorant as the fucking KKK. It's as ignorant as any other fucking hate group. And regardless of what they want to call it, it's fucking hate crime worldwide. It's the biggest fucking hate crime ever. It's, it, it goes, unacceptable. It's unacceptable. Yeah, it makes no fucking sense. Like, you you have no grounds to stand on. This shit makes no sense. You're not solving shit. Is anything getting changed by these people dying? At all. But on top of this, this is no different than the Persians taking over the Greeks at the annoyance of the idea of freedom. Because freedom is everybody's right. That's why we were given free will. So, I mean, you have the free will to think that you need to push your beliefs on other people in a way to make you think that what you're doing is justified, but at the end of the day, it's not. Everybody is entitled to believe and feel as they choose.